close to 0.01 percent of uh, that is energy to mass ratio occurs in the form of the electromagnetic radiation in whole of the universe so friends when we talk about the electromagnetic radiation the first thing that comes in our mind is the hot burning star that is our sun well the sun is the ultimate source of all the energy and it is required for every living organism on the earth plant carry out the process of food making that is photosynthesis process like uh, the chlorophyll in the plants observe the sunlight and they produces the food and it is uh, this particular sunlight is essential for the plants to grow well friends this particular sunlight we can see and we can observe the sunlight and also it is produces the electromagnetic radiation this particular electromagnetic radiation that received that is gets observed by the chlorophyll in the plants and they can carry out the process of photosynthesis also in our body the vitamin d gets produced just because of the sunlight and we can see very and we can feel very fresh in the sunlight well friends also in some cases we can have sunburn when we uh, like gets exposed too much with the sunlight so that is just because of the electromagnetic radiation well sun produces the sunlight and also this particular sunlight produces the heat and some amount of the electromagnetic radiation that is gets observed by all the living organisms around us all the fuels that is the oil gas and coal that stores the energy and that receive th that energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation through the sun so sun is being the source of all the electromagnetic radiation all around us and our whole of the life is immersed in the electromagnetic radiation so friends over here in this particular video we are going to talk about the electromagnetic radiation and how this electromagnetic radiation gets formed how the electromagnetic radiation gets produced that we are going to learn in our today's video so friends please watch this video till the end and if you are new over here on my educational channel in Jonas Academy kindly subscribe it and please press the bell icon so let's begin with our today's topic of electromagnetic radiation So friends, as I have said earlier, this particular electromagnetic radiation, our whole of the life is immersed in the electromagnetic radiation. The TV, the, uh, the TV receives the electromagnetic signals that is through a broadcasting channel that is in the form of the radio waves. Not only TV, but also the airplanes that uses the radio waves, that uses the radar, that typically uses the radio waves to navigate. The sonar that is uses the ultrasound waves so that helps the ships to navigate into the water the microwave ovens which we are using in our everyday life to make our food more delicious that uses the electromagnetic waves the water heaters that uses the infrared waves so all our life is like uh, it is revolving around the electromagnetism it revolving around the electromagnetic waves electromagnetic radiation so friends how does this electromagnetic waves how does this electromagnetic radiation gets produced over here so that is the basic and the first question of all suppose like uh, <clears throat> i'm having a brick okay this particular brick or anything any object you can consider in your mind like this particular object is made up of the small 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 atoms atoms made up of the proton neutron in the nucleus and the electrons revolving in the orbit these electrons these are the negatively charged whereas the protons are positively charged and the atom is become electrically neutral but over here friends if we provide the external heat to an uh, like an object let's say an atom the atom becomes charged the atom will starts vibrating back and forth it will starts vibrating it means when we try to give heat to an atom to a particular media to a particular substance a particular particle that particular particle will starts vibrating in the space in the given space that particular uh, particle will will starts oscillating like suppose this particular oscillation because because uh, over here friends like when we uh, give the external heat well heat is the form of the energy like in that particular uh, material in that particular matter or the object you have imagined this particular object how can that particular object store the heat energy 
लाइक इट कैन लाइक हाउ दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट स्टोर द हीट एनर्जी वेल दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट डज नॉट स्टोर द हीट एनर्जी एट ऑल इट यूज दैट हीट एनर्जी टू वाइब्रेट द मोर द हीट एनर्जी वी गिव टू दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट द मोर इट विल वाइब्रेट द मोर दैट स्मॉल पार्टिकल विल वाइब्रेट इन द गिवन स्पेस एंड इफ यू ट्राई टू कोल इट डाउन द वाइब्रेशन विल will uh, gets reduced and ultimately at the absolute zero temperature the vibration will become zero but the small vibrations in the uh, very fraction or uh, the small amount of the energy will always be there in that particular particle so over here friends if we are giving heat to that particular particle the particle will starts vibrating let's say the particle will start oscillating it means this particular particle will if we give more heat it will vibrate very rapidly the more oscillations will be there in a uh, less time so over here the frequency of the oscillation the frequency of the vibration will increase so over your friends i remember the nikola tesla saying that the everything is made up of energy frequency and the vibration over here guys you can see this everything is made up of energy frequency and the vibration over here the frequency will keep on increase when we keep on adding the heat to that particular object so let's say in this particular diagram if we imagine like this particular particle is moving forward with the speed of light and if we continuously giving the heat to that particular uh, particle this particular particle will starts vibrating it will starts oscillating it means that it will starts vibe oscillating like this so this particular charged particle moves up and down and it will form a wave and simultaneously it this particular particle is coming forward in this motion so over your friends that particular particle is oscillating and simultaneously it is coming forward like this particular particle is a charged particle and it is having a like the electric charge all around it so when it moves upward the electrical charge also moves upward and when it moves downward the electrical charge also moves downwards simultaneously it produces the its magnetic its magnetic uh, parameter so this is the reason this electrically charged particle when it oscillates it produces its magnetic part so over your friends uh, as you can see over here this is the electromagnetic wave this vertical line represents the electric uh, electric component whereas the horizontal part represents the magnetic component of that particle which is uh, being moving forward in the x direction so over here this magnetic part is also there this particular magnetic part uh, like uh, it this is known as the this particular part known as the electromagnetic radiation and this whole of the wave is called as the electromagnetic wave it is having the electrical vertical component as well as the horizontal magnetic component which uh, moves to and fro the vertical component moves up and down and the horizontal component moves to and fro so this this is known as the electromagnetic wave and that is produced just because of the frequency just because of the oscillation of a charged particle in the given space so this is how the electromagnetic waves are being produced and as we guys have already discussed the sun is the ultimate source of the all the electromagnetic radiation the sunlight that is having a some sort of the like the heat contained within it and this particular sunlight is visible as we can see the sunlight with our naked eyes some of the electromagnetic spectrum these are not visible to our eyes just because of the frequency the x rays these are not visible this x rays are very dangerous to our health but it is useful in the medical industries as the physician they can see the integral part they can see the inner uh, parts of our bodies by using this x rays also the gamma rays which is uh, produced by the radioactive decay in the nuclear reactors these are also having the high frequency and these are also very much harmful to 
our uh, life so basically friends over here everything over which is associated with the electromagnetic waves depends upon the frequency if we alter the frequency of the electromagnetic wave we can this particular electromagnetic wave will be useful for any given application so friends this is how the electromagnetic waves are produced uh, this is so friends this is how the electromagnetic waves gets produced so i hope you understood the electromagnetic waves and i hope you like my video friends so if you have any queries any doubts please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel genius academy thank you so much for watching this educational video